Holiday Week Racing in Iowa. Altoona, Iowa to be exact, and Prairie Meadows. Got some very interesting stakes coming up at Prairie Meadows tomorrow. Two stakes, the Sailorville, that's a $100,000 purse. That'll be 717 Pacific, 1017 Eastern. That's the eighth race on the card. Phillies and Mares, three and up, 23rd running at six furlongs. Mike Smith will be at Prairie Motors to ride in the stakes races. He's riding Chanteline in the Sailorville. Chanteline's been away since May 19th when finishing fourth at Pimlico and is the two to one morning line choice. Chanteline, a daughter of majestic perfection. This is back April 8th, Oaklawn Park, Carousel Stakes. Tails, illusion artist at the rail. Athena's closing now, but she's still four and a half behind Chanteline inside the final furlong. Now from the inside, and illusion artist trying to run by Chanteline. Illusion artist takes the lead. Chanteline is second. Illusion artist. The 38th carousel goes to illusion artist, a length and a half over Chanteline. Athena was third, and Pleasant Tails for. Chanteline second in the carousel after that went to Pimlico and finished fourth in the slop and the skip at back on May 19th. Mike Smith aboard for the first time for trainer Steve Asmussen, two to one morning line favorite. I'm a looker is the second choice on the line to three to one. In a new barn, first start with Brad Cox. Last start was last year, Churchill Downs, finishing seventh in the Dream Supreme at stake there. So first start of the year for I'm a looker. Made over a quarter of a million dollars. And a new rider, Corey Lannery, takes over on I'm a Looker 2017 debut. This is back last October at Keeneland. On the outside, Irish Jasper fourth back toward the rail, coming to the eighth pole, Stone Tastic, narrow lead. Irish Jasper up the inside, bendable still there from the outside. Coming past the 16th pole, Irish Jasper keeps grinding away toward the rail and takes the lead now. It will be a milestone victory for owner Will Farish and a Keeneland Bowl courtesy of Irish Jasper and Julian Leperu in the Thoroughbred Club of America. I'm a looker is a graded stakes winner. She took down the grade three winning colors at Churchill Downs last May and she makes her 2017 debut in Thursday's Sailorville Stakes. Feature race on Thursday night is the Iowa Oaks $200,000 purse, grade three event. Field of 10 set to go, ever so clever. Mike Smith takes the call there. For Steve Aspison is the choice at seven to two. Chanel's Legacy, the second choice at four to one. This is ever so clever. Oaklawn Park, the eighth race, the fantasy stakes back on April 14th. Still there past mid stretch. It is Chanel's legacy. My sweet Stella to the outside. Ever so clever. Chanel's legacy going to have to hold off. Ever so clever. It will not be easy. Ever so clever. Chanel's legacy. Vexatious looks for a way through. Ever so clever takes the lead. And ever so clever wins the fantasy. Ever so clever beat Chanel's legacy, who ran great in second. Vexatious finished third. Very important win for Ever So Clever with her nice pedigree. She's by Medallia de Oro out of a Mr. Greeley mare. That was a graded stakes win. <clears throat> Grade three fantasy. She was well beaten in the Kentucky Oaks. This will be her first start back and Mike Smith aboard for the first time. Breaking from the inside, Tappa, Tappa, Tappa. Last ran at Pimlico on the slop and the Black Eyed Susan where she was off the board. She's won three of eight starts. She's a filly by Tappa out of a Dixieland band mare. Her last victory, February 11th at Tampa in the Sun Coast. As they straighten away for the run to the wire, it's Tapa, Tapa, Tapa in front. Elate on the outside, continuing to grind away. Our Angel Kalen is third, but inside the final furlong, it's Tapa, Tapa, Tapa at nine to one, and she will pull the upset. Handled beautifully throughout by Castanon. We'll take it by three. Elite was second. Our Angel Caitlin was third. Venus Serena was fourth and running time on the board, 139.91. Tappa, Tappa, Tappa takes down the Sun Coast. After that, she was fourth in the Honeybee and sixth in the Black Eyed Susan. She's six to one in the morning line for the grade three Iowa Oaks. That'll be tomorrow night live on TVG.